What man, it's hot out here, man. But we about to go in here now. The moment we've been waiting for for that getting painted alert. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and be a part of the team, you hear me? And caprices and the bitches lit. Squatted on them sixes, how them bitches sit. Candy coated paint, I had to drop a lick. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not get out and chase your goals? Why not get out and chase your dreams? Why not get out and work on yourself, you hear me? Real talk, fam, y'all already know. We got the same 24, yeah? We got the same 24. Hey, fam, somebody said yesterday, I saw a comment, somebody said, man, you always keep talking that positive stuff, man, on your channel, on the beginning of your videos, at the end of your videos. Hey, fam, that's what it's all about, man. You feel me? I know we all go through hard times, but I try to put that positivity out there, man. You know, try to motivate people. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody go through hard times. Even I go through a hard times, you feel me? Nobody out there perfect. But I just put that, you know what I'm saying? It's all about putting that positive energy out there. You understand me? Putting that positive energy, that motivating energy out there. You know what I'm saying? Because we all go through hard times. I mean, I know like sometimes you might, y'all might look at people's social media and it always look like somebody's winning and they never lose, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna post their wins, but nobody is posting the struggle. Nobody is posting like the process it takes them to get there and win, you understand me? So don't be fooled, you feel me, by, by the social media situation, like people posting like the wins, the wins, the wins. Man, everybody go through hard times, you understand me? So just because you're going through a hard time, that don't mean you a bad person, you understand me? That doesn't mean you can't overcome what you're going through, you understand me? Because you can't overcome that, you understand me? Real talk. All you gotta do is keep at it, keep grinding, you feel me? Don't fold. Don't fold, you hear me? And remember, you gotta get out there and earn it, because it's not gonna fall in your lap, and don't nobody owe you a muck thing yeah don't nobody owe you a thing and you appreciate it more when you earn it you understand me when you earn it you appreciate it that much more versus if it was handed to you you understand me real talk man real talk but yeah fam what's good though man hope everybody out there having a good day man y'all already know today we on our way down south home base as we call it but we headed straight to the booth you hear me why because we got a get painted alert. Yeah, we got a get painted alert going down today. You understand me? I don't know what car getting painted today, but I know it's a car getting painted today. And we're going to go check that out and see what's going down with that. You understand me? Hey, fam, I want to also want to say this, right? Matter of fact, there's a couple of things I wanted to say because I've been meaning to say certain things in certain videos, and I ain't going to lie to you. Sometimes I be forgetting. But the first thing I wanted to say before I forget. Cause I've been meaning to tell y'all, cause I f I, did, I forgot to put the, well I'm gonna try to put the link in the um, description of this video from now on, the description of the video from now on. But you know what I'm saying? Don't plan it started the the, uh, the TikTok account for anybody out there that's on TikTok. You feel me? Follow. Don't plan it on TikTok. You understand know me? I'm trying to do my thing on TikTok as well. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We on TikTok, Instagram, um, YouTube, um, Facebook. Um, we even on Snapchat too, but we don't be on Snapchat like that. But we, but we on Twitter as well. You feel me? But I just recently started the Don't Plan It uh, TikTok, so I need y'all to go ahead on them. My real supporters, my real DPF, Don't Plan It family. You feel me? I need y'all to go ahead and follow me on TikTok. You understand me? I really would appreciate that. Real talk, man. Follow Don't Plan It on TikTok. The other thing I want to talk about is. 
certain people will comment on the videos asking questions that that's that are already answered in the video which leads me to believe that people not watching the full videos you understand me if you ain't gonna watch the full video what's the sense of watching the video you understand me you know what i'm saying even if you're gonna just even if you if you can't look at the video at the current time you can at least press play and just let it play straight through if you can't watch it at least you can hear what's being said you understand me because certain people be asking questions i'm like this person here didn't watch the whole video because they asking me a question that i know that's answered either in the middle or towards the end of the video somewhere within the video that question was already answered so how are you asking me that question bro bro you gotta watch the video you understand me you gotta watch the full video fam i really need y'all to watch the full video and like i said even if you cannot watch the full video i understand like if you can't currently watch the visual portion of it at that current time you understand me like let's just say if you driving or something you know what i'm saying you can't watch the video because guess what you got to focus on the road you understand me but get what though you can at least press play and just let the video play straight through just like when you listen to the radio let the video play and you can listen to what's being said you feel me you might not be able to watch it because you're driving you know what i'm saying you got to focus on that road so you don't get into no crash or anything like that but it's just like when you're listening to the radio you can just listen to the video you understand me just listen to it let it play straight through you'll hear what's being said you understand me and so forth but yeah man fam i just need y'all to watch the full video you know because some of y'all asking questions that's already answered so just watch the full video please you understand me please you understand me if you if you real dpf you know what i'm saying you real don't plan a family please watch the full video also fam um don't plan it uh don't date on the west coast on the west side yeah you feel me we still planning that as of right now the date is still september 18th and it's going down you understand me on the west side you feel me you feel me we going on the west with it you hear me we going on the west with it you hear me? yes sir we going on the west side with it so uh yeah it's still going now somebody was asking about that so i just want to say we're still planning but stay tuned you know what i'm saying as more info as more info come in we will re we will be releasing more info you feel me on the um either on the videos or on don't plan it instagram or 4d express instagram as well or don't date instagram there's a couple pages you understand me 4d express instagram don't date instagram don't plan Instagram. We will be releasing information on these pages about don't they on the west side. You understand me? So just stay tuned. But yeah, fam. Um, is that all I wanted to say? But yeah, fam. Y'all already know, man. We on our way to the booth, right? But yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications because we do post content often. And on top of that, we're doing a don't giveaway. It's the Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway. We're giving away a don't. 1973 two door hard top that we're giving away. Never has a don't been given away before. We're giving this donk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. For a chance to win this donk, all you have to do, subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel. Click the bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. Post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So post notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post new videos so you can go watch and comment on them. Also, you must spread the word and tell everybody you know that like donks about the Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway. That's the rules for entering the giveaway. Don't just subscribe and disappear thinking that you're going to win a don't because it's not going to happen. You have to participate on the Don't Plan It YouTube channel, meaning you have to watch videos and comment on videos. No, you don't have to comment on every single video, but you have to watch and comment on videos. It is very important. The Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway. All right, fam. That was a giveaway ad. You hear me? Follow what the giveaway ad says, and you'll be entered in for a chance to win that solid starter don't. You hear me? That seven tree. One of the most sought after years in the game. And we giving it away, you hear me? We giving it away. But wait, but there's more. If you haven't heard, 
We partnered with Forgiato and we giving away a set of 26 inch Forgiato wheels with the giveaway donk, you understand me? So you're getting a $16,000 value or plus for free, you understand me? All you gotta do is subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel. After you subscribe, click that bell. You already know the info. Follow what the ad says, you understand me? You'll be into there for a chance to win, man. We giving that away. You have never heard that before. Somebody giving away a donk and a set of 26 inch wheels, you understand me? Never heard that before, man. And we giving it away. But yeah, man, we just got to the shop as well. We came straight to the booth. This is actually a different booth. Uh, this booth here got some stuff going on. Before we go in the spray booth and see what's getting painted, because you know we got that get painted alert going down. Let's take a look around this booth real quick, man. Y'all check this out right here. I don't know what kind of car this is, but they got it on the uh, rotisserie. You understand me? Got that be on the rotisserie. This might be a Trans Am, because this shop here look like they specialize in Trans Am. Walking around here, I done seen about three or four Trans Ams already. What y'all know about the Trans Ams? Oh, this might be a Trans Am body right here. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody, somebody really love Trans Am on this side of town. They working about three or, three or four of them. They working on about three or forty Trans Ams, you hear me? What y'all know about the Trans Ams? Yes, sir. They putting in that work. Um, what's this over here? It's another car right here. Um, it's another Pontiac right here, you understand me? It's another Pontiac. Grand Prix. Look at that Grand Prix. Throw back Grand Prix, man. Don't know what year it is exactly. Maybe a 70s model. I'm not sure. If somebody in the comments let me, y'all drop the comments, let me know. I might be wrong, you feel me? I ain't perfect now. Know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to you though, but I am not a fan of that grill right there, man. That grill right there, oh my God. That grill right there is just ugly to me. No disrespect to whoever owned the car, just my personal opinion. I am not feeling that grill whatsoever. I am not feeling that grill whatsoever, you yeah? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what position the manufacturers to make the grill of that car look like that, man. I don't know. Over here, we got a Beetle. Know what I mean? Every time I see a Beetle, I think about that movie, Herbie. What y'all know about that movie, Herbie, man? With the white Beetle. Me personally, Beetle's not my thing, but you know, you got people out there that like them. Throwback Beetle. Motor in the back. Y'all know how them beaters go. With the motors in the back. You understand me? And over here we got the, uh, here we go with the, uh, what I was saying, the Trans Ams. With the Firebird. The Trans Ams. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I, I, I'll put one of these in the collection, you feel me? Put one of these in the collection here. Yeah. T tops. The Transam. I put this mud in the collection here. Yeah. What y'all say? Y'all drop them comments. Anybody out there like um Transams? 
Anybody out there like to throw back Trans Am? Drop them comment. Let me know, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I ain't gonna lie, boy. Interior crispy too. I don't want to open the door, but interior crispy. I don't know. They, I don't know if they just did the interior or it's just that crispy. But it's crispy in there, boy. I really want to see what the motor look like, but I ain't just about to pop nobody hood, you understand me? Yeah, man, this is a beauty right here, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yes, sir. Y'all drop them comments, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. All right, fam, y'all part in the sweat, man. It's hot out here, man. But we about to go in here now. The moment we've been waiting for, for that getting painted to learn. Y'all see what's going on. What you got, dude? Yeah. Them fumes 
and my lens got that overspray. I had to get out of there. But fan, y'all see what's going on. I don't know if I'm gonna be around for the finish, for the finished product today. Y'all already know the boy gotta put in work. Feel me? Gotta run errands, make things happen. So tomorrow, I will definitely try my best to get the finished product for you guys. You understand me? Tomorrow I would definitely try to do my best, but right now I gotta take off. I gotta go run some errands. Um, you understand me? Gotta go run them errands, man. All right, fam, one more thing before we leave. Before we leave and go run them errands, man, I want to show y'all, because I know I told y'all was multiple Trans Ams over here. I showed y'all one already. Here's another one. These boys ain't playing by these Trans Ams around here, yeah? Another T-top Trans Am. All gutted. Full restoration, boy. These boys ain't playing about them Trans Am over here, yeah? Might have made me go think about looking into getting a Trans Am. Look at this one over here. All these cars are under construction again, once again for the nitpickers. Under construction cars. It's that behind the scenes footage. Y'all see what's going on, man. The Trans Ams. Yes, sir. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, I love the front on this motherfucker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the front on this baby here. Yes, sir. I love the front on here, man. Where my Trans Am lovers at, man? Like I said, I'm a donk enthusiast, but there's other old schools I like as well. These Trans Ams being one of them. What year this is? Anybody out there know what year this is, man? Y'all drop the comment, let me know. Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on, man. Okay, I got you. I got you. Trans Am Central over here. And they got Poppy over here working on another one. This is about like number five I seen. But I can't really go in there because they got they got the music playing. I ain't trying to get hit with the copyright infringement. But it's another one. Nothing but Trans Am. I don't know what that is on the lift. That's the Trans Am as well, but yeah, that's, that probably is a Trans Am. Yeah, they got multiple trans ends over here, boy. They ain't playing no games. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll be getting in, trying to make sure that door closed right. Yes, yeah, sir. Nice. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, fam, so I just left the shop. Like I said, I had to go some run some errands. Um... Y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all seen that getting painted alert, man. That thing moved yacht. You hear me? Well, it's getting moved yacht. Like I said, it's in the stages of being finished. So don't nitpick at something that's not finished yet. That's not the finished product. I had to take off. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to get a video of the finished product for y'all. You understand me? Um, also, I wanted to elaborate yesterday. I want to, I said, I want to elaborate. Yes, I mean, I want to elaborate on the video that I did yesterday where I spoke about the part situation. You understand me? Um, with that video, I mean, I'm not talking about, I don't want anybody to get it misconstrued. I'm not talking about anybody specific or any parts guy in specific. You understand me? I'm just talking in general because at the same time, because that's like a hot topic in the game and a lot of people talk about that. But also what I want y'all to understand is, you know, all parts salesmen are not price gouging. I just wanted to make that clear because I didn't want y'all to think like, oh, all the parts people are that way. All parts salesmen are not price gouging. So I just wanted to clear that up. You understand me? Because sometimes when it comes to the parts too, the pricing is also based on the uh, the condition of the part. Of course, you know some 
some parts are in better condition than others so therefore the price that's in the, the I mean the part that's in the better condition is gonna cost you more than a than a part that's not in that much of a good condition you understand what I'm saying so I don't want y'all to think that all parts guys are bad dudes or whatever the case may be um also it, it is parts guy there are part guys out here that's doing it for the love of the game you understand what i'm saying and when i say that i'm saying that because like without some of the parts guys you know some of us would be would be stuck because we do need parts you understand me so i don't want y'all to think that all parts guys are bad guys you understand me so i just want to throw that out there you know all of them not price gouging sometimes with the pricing of the parts some prices might be higher than others because like like i said i mean it only makes sense if this piece is a better is in better condition than this piece of course the piece that's in better condition is going to cost more than the piece that is not that is not in so good condition you understand me so therefore it's up to you to make that choice do you want the better piece which is going to cost you a little more or do you want the piece that's not so good and it's going to cost you a little less you understand me the decision is up to you so i just wanted to clear that out clear the air real quick because i don't want nobody to think oh all the parts all the part guys are bad and all that you understand me i just wanted to clear the air real quick but yeah man um i think that's about all that i had to tell y'all uh, i think pretty much that's it um yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I think that's all I had to tell. Sometimes now we having so much going on that I be forgetting sometimes what I got to say. Also, man, y'all check out, follow, follow. We just started the Don't Plan It TikTok. Y'all follow Don't Plan It on TikTok. All that, you understand me? And y'all already know, fam. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan it live behind the scenes. You hear me?